Okay, so there's mom and dad's tent. And there's Nathaniel's tent, my brother's tent. There's the porta potty area. There's the gazebo that mom and dad were working on. They didn't quite complete it, but that's okay. No, there's our friend's tent. He's gonna go to work during the week, so we're, we got a tarp on it just in case it really starts to pour. Then there's my tent way behind it. Yeah, I know this is a more of a modern way of doing the festival, but uh, it's easy, easy to approach and it's still a temporary structure. So, if you ask me, it meets the requirements. Yeah, we got ourselves a nice little fire pit over there. And, yeah. So, for the festival, that's going to be my bed. And there isn't really much in there other than that. So, yeah, that's my little room during this whole week. Here's the fire pit. We've been doing a lot more than just cooking. We've been making teas and telling stories and all kinds of stuff out here by the fire pit. It's really nice. Blessed are you, O Lord, our God, King of the universe, who has sanctified us with his mitzvahs and commanded us to take the lulav. Amen. Hallelujah! And that's dad making noises. <laughs> This is one of the best parts about camping out at this time of the year. The nice warm tea right off the campfire. Oh, that's one. Let's just sit. Off to the side a bit. Go. Ah, uh, yeah, that's it. That's the good stuff. It's a nice treat during this time of year because the sassafras, le the leaves on it, are starting to change, which means all the sap is going into the roots. And you dig up the roots and you can boil it and make a really nice tea. And it is a really nice treat during this time of year, especially when you're camping out. It just makes it just makes the experience a little bit better. Ah, that was nice, warm, especially with the nippy air starting at this time of the year. Yeah, it's a sweet treat. It is so beautiful out here right now. I wish you guys could see that sunset the same way I can. Those clouds have like purples and pinks and reds, some bright oranges. But there's the fire right there and the camera doesn't like that so much. Dad's about to lower the pie iron into the fire. We're gonna have ourselves some pies. Toasty pies. Cook, cook, cook. Fire cooked toast pies. I say toast because it uses two pieces of bread for each pie. Yay. I hope it tastes good. And yes, we even have the dog out here. Look at her. <laughs> she is so happy to hang out with us. But you know what? When we go in the house, sometimes during the day, she acts like, I missed you, Oz. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she's silly.
We even have Nathaniel out here with us. Have trying to relax and have a good time by the campfire. While oh, those pies are cooking. Ooh, those are gonna be yummy, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully we don't burn them too much. And the pie iron is steaming. And Dad's about to open it up. Flip out the pies. That is really hot. Oh, okay. Looks like they got a little toasted. First two this year. No. Yeah, they got a little toasted. <laughs> Hey, I gotta get back and practice, okay? Okay. We do have to practice. And he's buttering up for the next round. Yay! <laughs> if at first you don't succeed, try again. Going to the road. And here's mom trying to make the campgrounds even more beautiful because that's what women do. <laughs> they try to make everything pretty. At least from their perspective. There we go. We're just relaxing, enjoying the pies by the campfire. It's so nice. So, what is you guys' channel called again? This is Sea Life. This is Sea Life. It did actually rain out here, and so I decided I'd try to clean up a little more. And I'm about wore out now, so it won't be long before I wind up in bed. But uh, the fire out here is beautiful, and the sunset is amazing. And I even made me a little flower bouquet today, so it's, it's really pretty. I, I refreshed my flower bouquet, I should say. But uh, it's, it's just a, a lot of amazing things you really don't notice when you're just inside. So, I love Sukkot. What I love about Sukkot is spending time with my family and enjoying the fire and actually getting to relax. This is probably the best time for me to relax. It's cool enough, air's crisp, and I love it. Sleeping is actually pretty good. Okay, so I'm preparing the fire for breakfast today. And uh, I'm planning to have some fire roasted bagels. That sounds good. Look, it's like it's about ready to burn. Let's get going. There we go. All right, I'll see you guys in a few minutes. Okay, I already started. This set's almost done. I tried buttering this set, so it's a little different. What's that? Talking to the camera. It's really warm there. <laughs> you might not want to hold it with your hands so much. this rig. And that explains that rig because you don't want to hold it too much with your hands. It's kind of toasty. Really warm there. <sighs> Alrighty. Bagels toasted over an open fire. Now that's something unique right there. Tell me, how many of you have tried that kind of idea? Leave it in the comments. <laughs> yeah, putting butter on it is definitely the right method because it toasts m more even. That is good. Mm. Well. 
we're gonna be camping out for the whole week. Yay! <laughs> but I'm not gonna make you guys watch every day of the week. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, and I will see you all later. Camping! Yay! <laughs> I'll see. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And yeah. I'm in here in the tent. This is fun. <laughs>